So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and call our call our meeting to order. Um, did we want to start with the invocation and pledge of allegiance? Okay. Why don't we go ahead? Let me back up. We haven't called the meeting to order yet. We're going to hold off for just a second. Let's go ahead and do the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Almighty and merciful God, we ask your guidance and blessings upon this board, students, parents, patrons, teachers, and administrators as we are assembled here this evening in the common pursuit of this great nation's wealth, our children. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to these Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Okay, thank you, Trustee. Sadanya. All right, so now we'll go ahead and um, welcome everybody and say good evening. This is a called meeting of the Northside Board of Trustees. Uh, just going to briefly review some of the rules because it's still a call meeting uh, for conducting our meeting. Uh, the board order of business is what for the meeting is set on the agenda. Uh, purpose is for us to conduct board business and for that reason it is held in public. Uh, it's not a public forum. However, we do provide the opportunity for audience participation. Um, did we want to, did anybody, did you want to sign up to the uh, agenda item? We just want to check that because we had the sheet out. Okay. Is there anybody else out there that we want to make sure if they had the opportunity? Okay, good. All right. Uh, so we don't have to go through that. So officially, we'll go ahead and we'll call the meeting to order. And um, the first thing we wanted to do is just sort of go through the process of what we're going to be doing this evening and see if we have any uh, comments or questions from the board itself. So as you all know, our purpose is to uh, conduct the uh, interviews for the uh, five candidates that uh, submitted to them. Uh, here, um, we initially discussed the process here. What we'll do is we'll actually go into closed session uh, so there is a personnel and also it's a good opportunity if we need to go to our attorney during that time period. Uh, so we'll be in closed session for the actual interviews uh, time period. Then we'll come back out um, in open and, um, and then we can have the discussion um, about the candidates and see what decisions may, the board uh, may want to make at that particular time. Okay, is there any comments, questions about the process? We haven't decided who is going to ask which questions. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. My suggestion on the, the questions, I guess. That's what I was going to suggest. In your packets, in uh, you should have the applications for all the five applicants, and then you also should have a copy of each uh, a question um, uh, sheet for each applicant. Yeah, and then my so Feel free to make notes. If you need notepads or any other assistance, just let us know. Okay. And then for the uh, seven questions, my suggestion is going to be I'll start out with number one. And then if we can go from sort of, which way am I facing? Right to left. So Carol could take number two. Is that okay? Okay. And then three. And Gerald had four. And you'll have five. five and six, six. And then seven. As long as we sit up in That's that right. order down there? We'll no, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you know which one you got. Okay, you're stretching my <laughs> memory. Yeah, y'all yeah, just remember. Write that down, which one you got. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Um, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, um, is, I, I may have missed this part. So, the next candidate would be waiting outside. Can they hear? Um, no, no. So, they're actually going to be waiting in the office adjacent to Alma. Yeah, so uh, as the uh, candidates or applicants arrive, uh, we'll greet them, we'll uh, allow them the opportunity to, like I say, sit in. It's Kelly Rousey's old, old office. Okay. And then uh, once you're ready, we'll b we will bring the uh, next applicant uh, to you. So time flies right in that office uh, mm -hmm. pretty quickly. We've got a clock that's wound up pretty tight. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? All right. If not, the Board of Trustees, beginning at what time is it? 4.38, will convene in a closed meeting in accordance with Texas Government uh, Codes 551-071, um, 072, and, and those that were listed, in particular having to do with personnel and attorney. 
uh, discussion take place on the uh, 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 items of, uh, that, that were identified, okay? Bobby, excuse me, yeah, Mr. Ahead. Blunt, before we go into executive session, so if we discussed, and I can't remember what we decided at the board meeting, if we have time left over, and the candidates will pace themselves, but, but if there's time left over, mm -hmm. are we going to ask any additional questions, or can they, um, can they? No. no. We said no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just checking. The only other option would be, okay, uh, no, no additional questions, but if they finish at 26 minutes, um, for the remaining four minutes, for example, uh, do we just let them, if they want to add additional information, or do we stop it after the last question? The, after, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, we also asked, we also talked about if they had any questions for us, and I just, I don't remember the decision. Yeah. Time permitting, I think we said it was time permitting. 30 well, minutes was what we said. No, no, but again, what she said, because we, no, what Karen is saying, let's say they finish the seventh question at 25 minutes. What do we do? It's, do we want to stop it at that point, or do we want to give them the option to either ask a question or say anything they want for the remaining time period? As long as it doesn't go over 30, that's the, that's the question. They can ask a question as long as it's in their 30 minutes, but when that 30 minutes stops, everybody stops. So we will, oh, go ahead. No, I, I, I my suggestion would be that they could um, comment on any of the questions again. If they wanted to go back to any question and add additional information, then I think they could. Right. Um, but I think if they also had a question for us, uh, I don't know where that fits in, maybe before we even get started, Bobby. If they have a question about the process. Oh, if they have a question about the process, yeah. Before I mean, we, we get clarify started. that up front, yeah. Right. So if they have okay. other questions, that's the question. All right, so, the, so what we'll say is, if y'all okay, at the end of the whatever, if they finish <laughs> early, and say if there's anything they want additional to add, just as a general hiring practice, we typically allow the applicant, if they have a question or two, to ask their question. Usually, I'm the spokesperson in that process if I'm part of that committee, unless it's so specific that a, you know, someone with that technical ability needs to answer, but that's just a general hiring practice. Yeah, I think there were some reasons why there was concerns about doing that, to be honest, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Well, I think time with one and the other is you want to make sure every, every applicant same thing, right? Given the same way, so there's consistency and um, uh, equity and quality, I guess, um, in the, the questioning process. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. sorry. I, this is if the applicant has any questions of right. north side. I, I thought we said as long as there was still time in the 30 minutes. Um, okay, well that's what I was saying. Okay, let me go back, y'all. <laughs> But I'm saying, yeah, again, because y'all going back and forth a little bit. Uh, I said, well, I was going to say, at, at the end of that time period, we would tell them if there's anything additional they want to add, or if they have any questions, they can during the remaining time period. But we don't add is different than asking questions. Um, yeah, I would. If I, if I was a candidate, I'd prefer to have additional. If I want to add more to it, than asking the questions. Yeah. And if it's within the 30 minutes. As long, yeah, that's what I say. They have 30 minutes with us. If they, if they want to add something pertaining, somewhere it pertains to the question. Any other questions? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it matters. All right. So let's, let's okay. run it by again. What are we going to do? If so we're going to. Time remaining in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to do what? Then we're going to tell them with the remaining time, unless you all tell me differently, they can either add additional information or if they have a question to the board, they can. I think that's where we... I'm good. <laughs> we are. Just remind me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else process-wise? Thank you. All right. So we'll go ahead then and we'll go ahead and close me at 5, 442. Do we have anybody? Okay. So the Board of Trustees beginning at uh, 840. We'll convene an open meeting. So the, the first item <coughs> discussed out in open is um, since we've completed our have completed our five interviews, is what process the uh, the, the board wants to utilize next. Uh, does the board have a preference for further interviews, or do we want to have further discussion tonight? Um, 
Was that from I, earlier? Yes, yeah. I, oh, okay. I did not press that button. Oh, okay, you saw me, okay. So what's the, what's, what's the will of the board? <laughs> you wanna first have the discussion first or what's the will? I'm going to ask the question. I don't know if, if it can be done. I would like to know uh, what everybody's first choice is and see if we come to a consensus or is that asking correctly? Can we do that? I don't see why we can't have a, <coughs> everybody have a discussion on who uh, those candidates they feel they're their top choice. I mean, we're not well, and, and I guess that's why I'm suggesting that because if we end up with two mm -hmm. that everybody agrees on, then we could, you know, have discussion on those two and then we could vote and finish it today. Yeah. Okay, Yo, why, don't we, why don't we do that? If we're going to do that, Trustee Sazanya, did you want to start out? Who <laughs> yeah, first yeah. choice is? Yeah, your top, yeah. Are, am I going to use a name or a number? Number. A number, five. Yeah, any reason why? Any further detail or just? Oh, my, my reasoning is uh, he, he has been on boards before. He knows education. He was a public school person. His children were public school. Uh, he has worked in the low income areas of San Antonio. And quite frankly, I felt like he knew a lot about our district and is an active member in our community. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, let me just, uh, Trustee Saucedo, did you have a top one you wanted to talk about? Yeah, my uh, choice is uh, candidate number four. He's uh, involved a lot in Northside ISD, um, a lot of committees, not committees, bond committees, uh, has kids in uh, Northside schools. So I, to me, I feel he's the best uh, candidate for uh, trustee district two. Thank you. Uh, trustee Freeman. Okay, I didn't know I pressed it again, but I, I don't mind. No, I'm just um, doing it. I'm oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. In order. Yeah. Um, first off, we spent a lot of time interviewing five candidates, and quite honestly, it's uh, um, it's wonderful that five people are interested in being on this board. They all said some great things about um, this school district, and I got to tell you, it was, it's very difficult to actually single one person out. Um, but um, having said that, um, number five stood out for me. Um, there were some things regarding the involvement um, within our community, the involvement in our school district, the, um, the longevity of this person um, in the school district. Kids went um, through Northside schools, graduated from Northside schools. Um, talked about the family and community engagement, um, strengths as the stability of this, uh, one of our strengths is the stability of this school district, the leadership, the, the, super, the stability of superintendent, um, board, et cetera, clear vision. Anyway, this, um, for me, that this person stood out. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Duran. So this was really tough, but we had some great candidates and I just want to thank everyone for volunteering their time with us, but also for just stepping up to the plate to be a leader in our community because it does take special folks to do that that are dedicated. But my choice is going to be uh, candidate number four for reasons that he was raised by a single parent um, here and um, picking cottons as a youth so these experiences create a strong sense of resilience and determination he is an ex-military member has three children in the community that is are currently an active member and has been for the last 10 years so he's not new to Northside um, 
from everything from PTA president, school bond, school boundary, foundation, and uh, innovative, innovation is important to this individual, which I think is very much needed, someone that can be here for a long run. So my candidate. All right, and Trustee Harl. Yeah, I think Carla said it really well. This was, um, we had some really incredible candidates and God love each and every one of them. Um, you could tell they just had their heart with Northside and it's incredible. Um, gosh, I had a tie <laughs> between four and five. Mm -hmm. And I have to, I Sorry. mean, that's the hard part. I think five might have a, a leg up because I heard a lot of things that, that I think we were talking about going forward with um, like uh, more involvement in Chamber of Commerce, um, more partnering with workforce um, development, and he's been actively engaged in those two ways, more opportunities for our students um, to interact with partners um, and um, definitely um, all the involvement he's had in Northside and then in the city. Um, I, um, oh. but, but, no, be, to be fair to you, remember, not, you don't have to vote yet. We're I just, know, I know. I'm trying, tired, to, I'm trying to, I'm trying talking out loud. With okay. The tie. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. um I did, I did value, um, talking about the whole child and where, where a lot of my heart is and just, um, you know all the different ways we can we can um, support and, and develop the whole child. You know through everything with social, emotional, mental health support, fine arts, all of that was on point. Um, and um, I took a. I mean there was there was a lot of notes. Um, four was um, very very much to the point, and I valued that as well. Um, and has already been proven leader in uh, Northside in a lot of ways. Um, I was wanting, uh, well, I'll just leave it at that. And I mean, he, he's an incredible gift to Northside. Um, um, anyway, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. No, that's good. Okay. You know, and I, you know, I just had the first the general comment. Um, we, well, we really have some very good candidates and, um, in a sense of how they could serve, um, I think we felt, at least, I, I'm sorry, I can speak for myself, felt that they could serve in, our, in, in the role itself. Um, there are quite a bit of differences between how they would serve and the strengths and other things that they had. Uh, some, a good number of them I had the pleasure of working with <coughs> and other things. Um, so it was, it was great pride to see how well they had done. Um, what, what I'm sort of seeing, um, to see what y'all think, um, it looks like for and five, it looks like it's obvious, <clears throat> tend to be the ones strong. The question is this for everybody. Do we want to have another round of interviews just with those two next week, given how the flow is going now to get more detail, or does the board want to try to make a decision tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Trustee Harl. I'm oh, sorry. Um, do, we, um, do we take a vote? Or is it a discussion and we all come to consensus? How, how do we decide on four or five? Yeah, in the end, we'd have to, at some point, we've got to take the vote. Okay, so one suggestion I have is we go ahead and take a vote and see where. And we, oh, go no? ahead. What we can't do is a straw vote, though. Yeah. So tell we'd me. We'd have to almost have, remember correctly, we'd almost need a motion for right, a candidate. Right, that's what I mean. You take a motion for one. And, and then, then take a vote. No, that's. And no, it's going to be the one that you make the motion for. I got you. No. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then by you end up with one. Like we regularly basically. do. Yep. Okay. No. So that's the option is to, to, to go ahead and unless well oh, let me before I do that, um, do, is there any more discussion on the candidates? Don't, don't uh, just to, from what everybody's heard. Anything else discussing why? I'm sorry, Trustee uh, Lopez. You, you know, um, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the things that, and I, I'm, I'm going to have to say in being able to, uh, first of all, I want to say, you know, these were all excellent candidates, uh, and to your point of 
um, you know, boiled down to two. Uh, one of the things I think would be interesting is if you were to maybe, if there was, if you all chose to, is, you know, maybe go to two, maybe one more interview, and then just make it a, just a conversation. Just hear their thoughts and hear what they're thinking. Uh, here it was, you know, the questions were given to them. Um, maybe you could get a different view of them if you just have a conversation with them and just mm -hmm. see, hey, where do they lie? Because I do know both of these two candidates. I do know well how well they are involved in the community from a chamber perspective uh, in both their jobs, uh, both of them being in, in businesses uh, or work with. Uh, so they are actively engaged in the chambers as well. So not one more than the other are, are involved. And then some of them, like I said, both of these two individuals have raised, have done a lot of stuff for the community and for kids. So maybe having one more interview mm -hmm. may work and just to kind of have just a general conversation and an open conversation and just kind of see where they're at. You could kind of see where their thoughts are. Just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, maybe that may help that decision. Any other general comments? What, what are the board thoughts on? Do we, we want to decide tonight or do we want to have one more around? Uh, did you push it? I'm sorry. You, did you push it or you just? I, I pushed. No, I didn't push it. I just pushed the green. She was oh, okay. I'm, I'm struggling with having another interview because I feel like we gave them equal opportunity, equal time to uh, look at the questions they were given. They, they all appeared very comfortable when they were speaking to us. And I'm not sure that, that just a general conversation would be a fair interview. I feel like you have to ask questions that you think are important, which is, I think, what we did tonight. And since we're down to two candidates, I think we should vote. Yeah. Any other comments, questions? Okay, so the next, I was here. so let me ask the question, is there a motion to come before the board? Uh, Trustee Harl. Um, so I'm I'm going to have to go where um, where I felt the strongest for the kids of Northside, and so I'm going to move that um, I'm going to make a motion that candidate number five be considered um, as a replacement for um, District Two seat. Um, although I do want to say I I. I I do believe in conversation. I do think that we gave a very fair and and um, respectful way of sharing your story, both in written form and and so. Um, okay. Is there a uh, second to candidate number five? Second. All right. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? And everybody in a sense that this would be a, you know, it's a motion you're going to vote. So depending on what happens here, would determine whether we have a candidate or if there's an opportunity for another motion. Okay. Any other comments, questions? All right. If not, it's been moved and second that we uh, approve uh, candidate number five. All those in favor, uh, signify by stating aye. 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 Um, those opposed, state nay. 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 Okay. So it's 4-2. And... Um, um, as required, Trustee Lopez, uh, yeah, ha as required, just could not vote on this matter. Okay, so good. So we have a new um, candidate, and his name is, I got to say the name right, Homer Guevara. Ge Homer Ge Guevara. I'm trying to get my accent right. Homer Guevara, so it's, it's a pleasure, and um, Again, very, very pleased. Uh, thanks to our, to our board for, for going through this process. A lot of work, a lot of details, and I think really represented our community well in terms of the whole process. And congratulations to, uh, uh, to Homer, and, and thanks again to all those who submitted. And that will end, correct? Anything else? No, sir. We'll all reach right. out to uh, Mr. Barr and uh, 
start working on the All right. information that you'll need leading up to the DMAT 20. Okay, good. All right, so we'll go ahead and enter a meeting at um, 8, 8.50 something, 7. And thank you all again.